Hey, Aaron, Jack Curry, I'll start. Um, we hear the phrase must win a lot. I know tomorrow is not an elimination game, but how much in your mind is tomorrow a must win situation? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I don't even look at it like that. It's like, we're, we're, we're doing all we can to try and win. We know we're coming home, obviously, to play tomorrow, which we're excited about. Uh, and we're giving the ball to Garrett Cole. And, uh, you know, hopefully he can go out. And, you know, I feel like we've done a decent job of attacking these guys. Hopefully he can limit, the, <clears throat> hold hold them down and, and get us off to a good start. And then uh, we can do enough offensively. So, um, you know, we know we're up against it, certainly. Um, but we look forward to going out and trying to win a baseball game. And that's, that's kind of as far as we, we look into it. And just two quick player questions. Left field at Yankee Stadium is a different animal than Minute Maid. How do you anticipate deploying Giancarlo? And then the second one was Peraza acquitted himself really well last night. How likely is it that he will start game three at short? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'll kind of work through that today and, and, and certainly tomorrow. Um, we got Christian Javier going. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll consider all that, you know, I'll, um, Giancarlo, I feel like bounced back pretty well yesterday from, from his first day being out there, obviously an off day today, but, um, I, I haven't, I haven't decided on, on how I'm going to go in that direction yet. Thank you. Uh, other questions for Aaron? Hey, Aaron, uh, with lineup, did you, uh, you had Bader up, I know, against the lefty at the top. Are you considering him in front of Judge again at the top for the next game? Yeah, it's definitely something I'm considering, you know, as we try and, you know, find a way to score some runs. Obviously, he's putting together good at bats, had a couple more good at bats getting on base last night. So, uh, yeah, that's something that I'm probably leaning that way. There was a question, uh, I guess, been asked today about, uh, Bader didn't know he was leading off when he was asked about it and it spoke to some sort of communication problem. Did you feel that that was the case? Was there some sort of disconnect in telling him he was leading off or anything? No, no, we, we sent out the lineup ahead of time. Some guys are vigilant at making sure some guys, you know, come in and, you know, they just, it's play ball and it's like, and then look and see where you're at later. That's just a, individual thing sometimes. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Aaron. Um, Garrett's pitched actually better than his average this year uh, during games where you guys don't score a whole lot of runs. Do you find that he changes his approach or his mentality when maybe the hits aren't coming the way you guys are used to? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, Garrett's pretty consistent and in, in, in how he goes about things and his process and um, you know, I feel like a pretty intense, no matter what, like he, he's, I mean, he's locked in every day and really, you know, one of those guys that's hooked up every day and invested in everything, even on the days he doesn't pitch, but when, you know, on the days he's pitching, there's a, there's a energy and a focus and intensity that I don't think really changes, um, based on score. Hey Aaron, it's Ron. The reliance on home runs when you guys are doing well, does is that just who you are or is it overly reliant where in some of these games when you can't produce long balls, it makes it difficult for you? I mean, it gets difficult in the postseason. Look, we're constantly searching for a more perfect, the most perfect offense, right? You're chasing that. Every team is. You want to be the best you can be. Um elite contact skills is a skill is a valued thing. I'd love to have, you know, everyone be 300 hitters and 30 homer. I mean, that's what you're chasing. You're chasing a perfect, great offense and, you know, hard to hard in this day and age to not be a team that hits the ball out of the ballpark to be an elite offense. Um, and certainly in the postseason, regardless of what people say, the home run ball is is enormous. You gotta you gotta take advantage of mistakes against great pitching, but you also gotta find a way in some of these games when you do have opportunities. You know, it is that big hit. It is that big, you know, put a ball in play. And and as we've struggled here to put the ball in play consistently here these first two games, you know, the one thing yesterday is 
when we needed the ball in play, that's what allowed us to get our two runs. So that was at least encouraging. Now we got to find a way against a great pitching staff, though, to do a little bit of both, to, to um, you know, take advantage of our mistakes. Um, you know, I, I still think it's very important that we put a premium on controlling the strike zone because swing, making really good swing decisions is always important. It's really important in the postseason because when you start chasing, I'm going to go touch the ball, you start leaving the strike zone against elite pitching and you're in trouble. So, so there's that balance. You know, you got to understand situationally that, you know, you've got to be able to do little things and shorten up in certain situations, which I felt like when we had a chance to score last night, that happened. But you got to be disciplined in the strike zone against great pitching. Thank you. Hey, Aaron, are, are you locked in that Tyone would be your starter for game five? Uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now on it. Um, yeah, hard to envision going any other way. Yeah. Thank you. Other questions, Brendan? Hey, um, Aaron, is everything good with Lou Trevino? Uh, he's obviously pitched the series, but outings have been a little short um, towards the end of the regular season, a little bit of sporadic use, just checking in there. Yeah, Lou's, Lou's great. Um, at the end of the season, he had he had a couple days where it back locked up on him where he didn't pitch a couple days, but yeah, he's good to go. Thank you. Other questions? Aaron, what, do you have options for Donaldson right now? I mean, you've got Connor Falefa, you've got Cabrera who can play third base, and Donaldson's still kind of searching. I know he's had a couple of big walks and things like that, but as you're struggling for offense the first couple of games, are you considering any change there? No, no. Um, you know, it's kind of, it, you know, as we struggle for offense, period, it's interesting that everyone jumps on him. I mean, he's he's got on at a 40% clip in the, in the postseason so far for – for all his struggles. So there's quote struggles. So we need him. We need him. We need him to do something big within this series. We need, um, you know, we need to get that rolling. And, uh, but, but that's with everyone. We, you know, we know we're up against a great pitching staff top to bottom and we got to find ways, you know, to score runs. And, and that comes in and obviously the ability to get on base also a big hit. And, and also when we get that mistake really sticking it. So, um, no, no plans there. Not not picking on him specifically because you're right, everybody struggled, but um, he he clearly has had a higher strikeout rate this year, a lower walk rate this year and all season. He never really found that hot streak. I mean, is, what, what did you see from him and continue to see um, just in his at-bats? Yeah, I think I think they've pitched, you know, different teams have pitched him differently all year, you know, and, and I think – I think at times when he's struggled, he's been a little bit of that in between where you're, you know, you're trying to cover a couple, um, you know, different speeds. So, so you're a little in between with your timing. And I think that's probably been the biggest thing that from a consistency standpoint that he struggled with. Um, but, you know, he's also gotten a lot of big hits for us and, and, uh, and we got to continue to, you know, trust that he's going to, you know, he's got a chance to to change a game for us and really, you know, produce one of those heavy heavy at bats and 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 what we hope is a long line of those. Thank you, Aaron. Um, last night, Stanton said something about the way you guys are struggling. Maybe you know, a change in approach at the plate, just offensively, was it was in order? You know focusing more on contact, you know, but you guys are pretty steadfast in your approach offensively. Is there anything you can do at this point to counterattack what, what Houston is doing, or do you just want them to do what they've been doing all year? No, well, you've got to be able to make, you know, series adjustments, in-game adjustments. That's, that's all part of, part of the game. Um, so hopefully we're able to do that. Um, I don't think there's any abandoning of a certain thing. 
you got to understand that, especially when you're up against, you know, elite pitching, you know, you got to, you, you got to find a way. Sometimes that calls in a situation of, of shortening up, um, you know, sometimes, you know, where, where are you in the count? You know, what's the situation of the game? What's, what's the scoreboard telling you? Um, you know, those things are all part of, of, you know, being a really good major league hitter and offense and, and you got to play to that. But, um, I don't think there's a drastic change in approach now of what we do. Um, at the end of the day, it comes down to making great swing decisions, controlling the strike zone and, and then playing the game within the game that when that calls for it. Um, yeah. Anything else for Aaron? Just one more on, on that, Aaron. Um, you mentioned you were able to put the ball in play when you needed to yesterday, uh, just and also 30 strikeouts in two games. Have you been happy with the approach through the two games, results aside? I mean, 30 strikeouts is, you know, it's too much. We know we, know we got to be better than that. Um, I'm just talking, sometimes when that narrative grabs hold and then, all, you know, you've had a couple of rough games, the thing, the thing that, and I, I think this happened to us as an offense last year at times, when that groundswell starts to happen and guys start to feel that you start, you start, I'm going to go up there and touch the ball. And that's a dangerous place to go because you start expanding and that's what crappy offenses do, right? You know, contact is incredibly important, especially in certain situations but I would argue that controlling the strike zone is more important and, and getting a good pitch to hit is more important. And sometimes when you get so focused on, I'm going to go touch the ball, you start expanding the strike zone. And when you do that against a Houston Astro pitching staff, you're in trouble and you're playing into their hands. So you've got to be able to strike that balance of understanding situational hitting when this contact becomes really important um, slowing things down. So I know when I've got to be able to shorten up, knowing when I've got count leverage, things like that. Um, those things all become really important and being able to understand and process that and slow all that down in the moment is critical. Hey, Mike, one more, uh, Aaron, as far as, uh, you and your staff reviewing what happened in the first two games, I know baseball isn't played within a crystal ball, but as you guys have seen what maybe you haven't done right going forward to be successful if i said what are x y and z that you need to do well to turn this series around what would x y and z be i i think it's just you know not impossible but you know hard to score hard to win when you when you score two runs and and we understand the challenge again that that this Houston staff, you know, from a starting rotation to, to all the, the depth in their bullpen um, provide and create, but, but we've got to find a way to do that. And I think that's a collective effort. Um, you know, you hear us talk about passing the baton and things like that, that happen all year. And, and, it, and it's not always in a bat that results in a base hit or a home run or a walk or a score, but it's, it's the collective taking on really hard, tough, grinded out at bats that hopefully serve us well as the game continues to move forward and netting a mistake or putting a guy in trouble or keeping the pressure on the entire time. Um, you know, I think that's, that's, you know, the most important thing is, is especially right now when it's really hard and we got to, we got to find a way. And, and I think that happens with, collectively as a group, winning pitches, uh, forcing them to be at their absolute best all the time. And, you know, hopefully over the course of a game that shows up eventually in some mistakes for guys that we're able to take advantage of.